but that was uh, and your oh, uh, how to talk words. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to, to the to big blue house. Place. Yes. Final Fantasy VII. Let's put the, the symbol in between Final and Fantasy. That's a like, seven. I never got that. Is this really a seven? I it's a seven. It's a symbol for space. For the space. It looks like X to me, man. I don't know about you, but this is one of my favorite title screens of all time. Not even the logo. <laughs> Nothing. It's because it's from a f future game. It's after. It's great. All right. When new Zach game. Dies. Who's ready? Is it a new game plus? No. No, it's not. I, I want to mention, like, I've always thought it was weird that new game was like all caps and continue was like lowercase and had a question mark, like. <laughs> they want that new game question mark. <laughs> they want to get you really excited for beginning a new game. New game. <laughs> it's like, do you want to continue or do you want a new game? Yeah. Everyone wants a new game. All right, so well, uh, with logic like that, you just want a new game every single time, and then you just never get anywhere. Yeah, for real, right? Yeah. So we're looking at space here, showing off some some disc-based console things that can be done. We've been looking at space for quite a while. Yeah. Oh, there's there's space. Yep. Hey, it's Eris or Aerith. I forget. Oh, the graphics. Which is hitching this. Dude, we laugh now because this is more dated than a reboot, but I swear, in 1997, this shit was mind blowing. Okay. Well, that's why it was on four discs or three. three. Was it three? Which one was four? Was it eight, eight, four? Three. eight? Eight was nine. Four. Was four. Nine was four as well. I don't, well, yeah. I don't have nine. Seven was just three. Nine is awesome. Loveless. Shout out to that. Yeah. Shout okay. outs to multiple discs? No, Loveless. Loveless, the, the play that fucking became a plot point in yeah. Crisis Core. Cause it was that dumb. ruined Crisis Core. <laughs> it wasn't Loveless. It was a certain character who was obsessed <laughs> with Loveless. But let's not get into that. Right now, we got a giant steampunk city and a barreling train to worry about. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. steampunk, man. This is more future than steampunk, I think. That's steampunk. Maybe it's mixed. Well, steampunk is future, but old. It's future past. Yeah. Like it's the x men It's the future from the past. Because... That I love sense. the reveal of Cloud here. Can I just say, like, all these people get off the train, kick ass, and then the last one off. <laughs> right when the music flares up. Ah, so, I love this game, fucking game. It's so good. Alright, so I'm a pointy haired guy. Let's check this dead guy for a potion. Let's check him for another potion, even though that second potion was supposed to be on the second guy. <laughs> it's kind of it's like uh, Pokemon. Oh, I forgot! I forgot something! We gotta start over. What? No, we don't have to start over. But I did forget to do something very important. I'll do it as soon as this battle's over. Whoa, look at those graphics! The I characters in this game have three very unique looking styles. Cutscene, overworld, and battle. Yeah. Yeah. The graphics change all over the place. I love that, that those guys had guns and they both just punched me. <laughs> Well, right. guns don't do much damage, Ricky. <laughs> very, very, very important. <laughs> ah. You gonna change the window color to pink? Yeah. Nice. Because Edmund Ditto. That's our name. This is what we're gonna have the Let's Plays to see. Oh, yeah. Gotta config that shit. It's pretty neat that you could do this, though. Yeah, it is. I always thought this was... In Final Fantasy, Fantasy, Final Fantasy 9, I know you could either just choose between Classic or the Grey, which I don't understand why they went with Grey to begin with for Final Fantasy 9, but this is 7, so let's not talk about it. That's pretty, uh... <laughs> let's, let's mellow that out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, eyes. It's like, my eyes! Ah, uh, no, that's much better. <laughs> 
just make it like lavender. Like lavender town. Ugh, it's like brown, pink. I'm working on it. Nah, that's pretty good. Good enough. I don't really like it. <laughs> there were parts that weren't very good, though. <laughs> Alright. I actually like setting my cursor to memory. Um... That's, that's just my personal preference. Yeah, I, do, I like that they give you all these options. I feel like I usually leave it on initial, but... What else? Why are you setting everything to slow? Oh, whoops. My bad. So okay. you can read it. <laughs> no. Any video game that gives me the option to turn the speed of the dialogue up, I will always do it. Me too. Yeah, because it doesn't it doesn't advance until you hit the button. You're just waiting for the stupid blips to, to blip. What? Yeah. Alright. So I used to be in soldier and apparently they're the enemy. But I'm not now, so it's totally cool. That's right, Jesse and Biggs. Soldier! It's in all caps. Yeah. What are you name, Claudia? Uh... That's right, bitches. Yeah, he's not even playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even playing, I'm the main character. What? Yep, how did that happen? Um, I took a bite of gum gum. Pretty much, yeah. I know, I made your arms all, like, distorted. Like a poodle. <laughs> sure. Alright, and my best friend in the whole wide world, Phil. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is some great translation for you already. What does this <clears throat> box even mean? If you push the directional button while pushing the cancel button to run, I couldn't finish reading it because it had already done no. all. Sorry. You you set the speed up too fast. I cannot read the <laughs> <laughs> Do you get by? Well, apparently, you've already got two characters. How quickly do you gain the other characters? Is it like a steady progression, or you gain like a bunch at once and then like? It's pretty steady. You do get them all by the end of the first disc, though. Even the bonus characters. Yes, you can. I, I mean, the thing about Yuffie and Vincent is you can get them whenever you want. But if you get them immediately when they're available, you will have them on the first disc. Are you gonna do that, or are you gonna? Yeah, wait? of course I'm gonna get them immediately. Why wouldn't I? Oh. Yeah. yeah, look at that swords twirl. Badass victory animation. Yeah. So badass that Sora does it. Yep, he stole it. Yeah. Alright, so this scene, like when I was a kid, I didn't understand what was happening because this was one of the first RPGs I ever played. So, Barrett's explaining the story. Sorry, Phil is explaining the story. This uh, reactor is sucking the lifeblood out of the planet. And Cloud's like, whatever, I don't care about that, I'm here for the job. But then he joins you, and he just like, what What just happened there? Like, what? <laughs> when you're a kid, that is a really abstract concept. You're like, where'd he go? Wh huh? <laughs> they yeah. just fused together. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hey, there's the lockers from Crisis Core. Um, I think. No, I'm inside the reactor right now, so. Oh, so never mind. <laughs> Looks like they're a bunch of. Never mind. There is a lot of stuff in Crisis Core that you like would recognize from the original game, but not yet. Other than the train, of course. Yeah. Look at those pre-rendered backgrounds. I always thought the this elevator here was like super weird. Because it sticks out. Uh, uh like. Oh, it, I know. It like goes up, but you're like going down or something like that. Like it, it's, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I miss games with pre-rendered backgrounds, dude. Like this yeah. game and the other Final Fantasies on the PlayStation One and Resident Evil and like t to a lesser extent Dino Crisis. 
I think that was a cool, like, uh, I missed that. You can always play Sonic Chronicles. Nope. Fuck that noise. But it did, it really, like, it made the game very cinematic, you know? Every shot is from the exact, like, calculated camera angle to make it most potent. I just, I miss that. There's a charm to that. That they don't do anymore, because they can just render shit real time. Right. <laughs> I th just think, if they started doing this again, uh... Which they won't, because technology. But they could friggin' focus mostly on the models then. Like, make them as pretty as possible. Sure. Well, um, in Final Fantasy X, like, there were some pre rendered backgrounds, and I'm kinda interested how they're gonna do that in uh, HD Remake. Are they just gonna, like, redo it entirely? Or what? No, they're lazy. They're not gonna. I'm just gonna, it. like, stretch it out and make it look gross. Hmm. Wait, they're redoing Final Fantasy VII? X. X. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's happening, remember. Uh, pro tip, put Barrett in the back row, because his gun arm is long range, so he does the same damage, but he takes half damage. So, that's pretty sweet. Normally when you're in the back row, you do half damage and take half damage, but if you have a long range weapon like Barrett, you do the same damage. Interesting. Yeah. Is it the same with like mages and stuff? And um, well, like magic does the same from the back row, but this game doesn't really have dedicated mages, you know. Right. Just because. Well, I mean, like in because Final Fantasy IX, from what I remember, has a back row too. Um, it probably is like that then. I would assume. But yeah, um, Yuffie and Vincent also have. Because why not? The, well, the thing that's the thing that I think is a little bit strange is that. Barrett has some short range weapons, but Yuffie and Vincent have exclusively long range, so. Hmm. Just those three should always be in the back row. Interesting. Okay. Notice your cursor has some black around it. Yeah, that's yeah. the emulator. Yeah, yeah, sorry. And the graphics plugin. You mean yeah. you're not playing on a PlayStation? I am. I'm playing on the physical disc. It's just running on an emulator. Yeah. So it's easy to record. Yeah. So it's not illegal. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Who cares? I'm just. I'm not. I play ROMs all the time. So. Nobody cares. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Look at that save point. Yeah, I never understood save point is like a question mark. Like, yeah. why would I go a question mark to the save? <laughs> why wouldn't you? I think it's a yeah. hitbox. Oh man, you should play that bottom file. <laughs> That's my <laughs> save file at the end of the game. <laughs> it's not gonna take me that long. <laughs> just, just FYI. <laughs> Forty-seven hours. I'm gonna try to be a little quicker than that. Um, That's two whole days. Yeah, I, well, I did a lot of grinding that playthrough, and like a chug of reading is takes a long time. So I'll maybe do some of that off screen. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, skeet skeet all in your face. <laughs> yeah, uh, mechanical enemies in this game take extra damage from lightning magic, so that's good to know. Yeah. Thanks for telling me, Breaky. You're welcome. I'm with you, dog. Yeah. Alright, I haven't played this game in a long time, so I haven't um, played it ever. <laughs> in Final Fantasy IX you could just use like fire and set it to hit everything. Can you do that like yeah. without like certain materia? No, you need materia, but there's uh, there's different options. I'm gonna hold on to that, actually. That's yeah. gonna come oh. oh, okay. they're gonna like hold on to that question. <laughs> hmm. So I see you holding on to your limit break. Yeah. Bolt! Um, the yeah. Dog. Um, later in the game, you get all material, and then there's also like it's literally material. just called all. Yeah. Not, it not makes get all the material. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Get all the material. No, it makes the, whatever material it's attached to target all enemies. There's also mega all, which does much the same thing, but it it, it does more than just like the attached material. It's every material that you have. But that's not till way later. I think it's literally in the final dungeon that you get mega all. So. You have a store, are you gonna equip that? What's up? You, know, you got a store, are you gonna equip that? I can't yet, I literally can't. Ah. 
you don't get the <laughs> materia menu like you don't get access to that menu until after this dungeon. Uh. That's kind of lame. This isn't just a reactor. So, other than that line making no sense in any context, um, there are many different theories as to who the voice that continually talks to Cloud is throughout the game. And I will give more on that later, once we get a little more into the story here. It's, uh, it's King Mickey. It's King Mickey, yep. Well, now you've, <laughs> now I thought you've it was it. goofy. Gorsh. I thought it was bravely default flying fairy. Shut that's up. A, that's <laughs> kind of terrible name, but I, from what I hear, that game is really good. Yeah, my I was be. just trying to think of the square game. The name still sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But how can anybody know it's good if like nobody's played it? Well, people in Japan or people who imported it and also bought a Japanese, Japanese 3DS. Yeah, thank you, Region Lock. Thank you, Nintendo. Dude, why yeah. is it Region Lock? That's such a BS. Because everything's Region Lock. It's ABS. Well, PlayStation 3 is Always region shooting. Lock. It's abs. Armor abs crabs. Don't know why. <laughs> I like this robot. Yeah, Guard Scorpion. It's a cool yeah. boss, if nothing else. <laughs> I don't I understand why you're finding it. Like, what? What's the context of the story here? It's, it's a security we, robot. We're, we're blowing up this reactor, and it's the Guard Scorpion that guards the reactor. Oh, got a hand yeah. from the jungle gym and shoot its mind thing. Okay, maybe I should slow down battle messages because I didn't get to read that at all. <clears throat> but basically they tell you that he's going to counterattack if you attack him while his tail's up. This boss is here to teach you some of the ATB mechanics of this game. Tail laser! So you, you're attacking it just yeah. to show? Yeah. Yeah. Also, it gives me limit breaks. Yeah. And the more you use your limit breaks, the more limit breaks you learn. So, hey yo. Hey yo. Spaghetti. -o. And that's the first boss. It's not like it's going to kill me. I remember as a kid not knowing how to play like an RPG. Like I got bodied by this boss. <laughs> <'Cause> I was <laughs> well, just attacking him. Like, why, like, why is he killing me? Why is he doing so much damage? Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna read these like messages at the top. <laughs> I'm not gonna read. Playing an RPG, you're not gonna read. Readings for chumps. I also like that they make the first boss mechanical, so you get to exploit his lightning weakness, like I mentioned. Yeah. They basically yeah. went out of their way to make sure that you wouldn't have much trouble with this guy. But, you know, when you're a kid, I had trouble with him too. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. <clears throat> now, is this one of the bosses you actually get experience from? Or... Oh, you do. Yeah. Because in front of me, I remember you just get AP. Yeah, and you, that's get it. It. you get experience from all bosses in this game. <clears throat> It's only 8 and 9 that don't give you experience from bosses, which I personally find kind of annoying. Well, I mean, I th didn't they do that for, like, speedrunners or something? So they could do level 1 runs or yeah, something? Yeah, I feel like that's why they never <laughs> said, like, that's the reason. But I feel like because when this when FF7 came out, it was so massively popular that everybody just tore it apart, and they went out of their way to, like, do single character runs, low level runs, no materia runs, you know. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Square, this is just a theory, so don't quote me on this. But I feel like they like took notice of that, and they like allowed you, if you wanted to, to get through the whole game at level one or whatever, because you don't get experience from the mandatory fights, you know. Mm -hmm. so. It's actually better if you're lower level in Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, because the the bosses have lower <laughs> HP. Yeah, the game scales too. It's it's dumb. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's okay. I love Final Fantasy VIII. I like Even it a lot too. It's a broken game. There's a lot that's wrong with it. I'm not gonna argue that point, but I like it a lot. I have it, but I haven't played it. I don't have Join the club. Up. <laughs> See, this is a back attack, so my rows are reversed, which means Cloud is doing half damage because he's in the back row. Mm -hmm. Back attacks always piss me off. There's actually a bug in this. Ki There's a lot of bugs in this game, and I'm gonna tell you about a lot of them, but. uh... If you get back attack, you're supposed to take double damage from behind, but that actually doesn't happen. You just take normal damage. 
So <laughs> the only downside to you getting back attacked is that your rows are switched back and forth. Uh. Well done. Ricky, you're never gonna make it up. I'm never gonna what now? You're never gonna make it out in time. Oh, I got plenty of time. Yeah, that that countdown goes uh, down even in battle. I know, and during menus. Yeah, but so. there's more than enough time on the clock. I don't even have to fight these guys. Later. <laughs> that was a preemptive attack. I I I need like the Hanna Barbera like running and running in the air noise for that. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, we'll, we'll edit that in in post. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll also edit out what you just said. Cool. Nope. So we'll it just leave in. Like it's funny. Yeah. We'll leave in. We'll edit it in post. <laughs> yep. And then we're just gonna look creepy. Well, not creepy, but weird. You're creepy. Which on? Uh, um, if you don't help Jesse right there, Steven Eater to ten asks, if you don't help her, then you can't get past this door, because she has to open it. So, you have to go back for her. Um, which... That elevator just went around the world, by the way. What? Yeah, I know, right? It's, it's fucking crazy, I don't understand it. It goes up, and then it comes from the bottom. Yeah, it went around the entire planet. Okay. Okay. Like SpongeBob. Bring it around town. It's not that much like that. But okay. <laughs> Barrett, what is up with your accuracy, bro? Guns aren't good in RPGs. They do well, like he, five damage. He doesn't have a scope. Apparently not. <laughs> you need to scope on his arm. I did get him in the sweet new weapon from the boss that I just killed. Should equip it. I did. Slippage. 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 See, you have to talk to Jesse to open this door, so. If you didn't save her like an asshole, then you gotta go back. Yeah, you deserve it. Because for some reason those doors closed after we opened them on our way into the reactor, but whatever. Also, even though there were six minutes plus left on the timer, we just barely make it! Because <laughs> that's <laughs> how it works in video games. You guys, you guys uh, stopped to dick around outside the door for a little bit. Oh man, look at them oh. graphics. Fix. Them graphics. So there's eight reactors in Midgar, and we just blew up one of them because we're terrorists. And uh, it's actually people. not me making a joke. <laughs> we're really uh, Avalanche is actually a terrorist group, but it's okay because Shinra is evil, so we're sticking it to the man. You're good terrorists. We're good terrorists. That doesn't. Shinra is sucking up the planet's lifeblood to use as electricity, so uh, we're trying to put a stop to that. It's okay. The story's gonna get it's gonna get more complex as we go. Why can't they just use lightning like re real people? Does it turn out that everybody is cloud and everybody else is No. No. This isn't Kingdom Hearts, Matt. Just cloud is cloud and just Sephiroth is Sephiroth. Actually, maybe not. Maybe Cloud's not even Cloud. Maybe no, there met. are. Maybe there's a lot of Sephiroths. <laughs> maybe there's like some guy that we don't find about until the prequel. Um, we find out about him. Who shouldn't exist? Anyway. No, no, no. I'm not talking about Zach. Okay. Well, anyway. I'm talking about other characters. Oh, like that, that jerk just knocked down this pretty flower girl. What a prick. I bet she's not important in any way. Okay, so this is the first of many options that you can choose that affect who you date later in the game. If you want to date Barrett or Tifa, you should buy a flower from Aerith. I know that doesn't make sense, but it will. So I'm going to buy a flower, just because why not. There she goes. Be mine. <laughs> There's some sexy pixels right there, man. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite backgrounds in the game, and you can never come back here. 
but I just yeah, I think it's cool. It's so cinematic, and like the lightning on that wire up above is just really cool. Yeah. Oh man, how'd you know that potion was there? It was shiny. It was shiny. <laughs> it was a big oh. shiny blue potion-shaped object. <laughs> I didn't see it. Yeah, some people miss it. <laughs> All right, I don't want to fight these guys. Who needs experience? You don't have to grind in this game. Yes, you do. Later, motherfuckers. I oh, think Jaleb got a steel seed day all about it when I got that time. I'm trapped. <laughs> I don't have time to be messing around with you guys. Cloud's so cool. Matt, you're so cool. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, check out that model. Yeah. yeah. It's like a cinema mixed with the overworld. Yeah, there's a there's a few cutscenes in this game that have like pre like mo rendered like models that are a little bit more they look a little nicer but not that much nicer. It's kind of fine. <laughs> they think I'm dead. Oh, poor man that never came. Phil stick it up for you though. Good. Also, I knew Josh was going to make a never came joke. <laughs> I just ran it. But, yeah. What about our money? My I fire money! Barrett don't want to talk about it. Whoa! What? Sorry to keep you waiting. That's not what he says. Looks like I'm a little late. That's, That's what she said. That's what I said. Shit! <laughs> I love the apostrophe in the word shit there. <laughs> oh, dude. Shit! Like my am. Shit. Was, was this game rated M? For, for swearing? No, it was rated T. For... What? Talking. I'm complaining. Tiefer. There was an apostrophe in it. It's barely censored. <laughs> That's how I got away with it. Damn. Oh man. Was that the guy from Contra? Yes. I'm surprised you haven't commented, you being Mr. Star Wars over here, you haven't commented on Biggs and Wedge. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. Who's Jessie? <laughs> She's just a girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, Final Fantasy VI was the first game to have Biggs and Wedge, even though they fucked up translating it and called yeah. them Vix and Wedge. That just completely ruins the reference. Yeah. yeah. But six, seven, and eight all had a Biggs and Wedge duo that were used for some narrative purpose. That's awesome. Does, yeah. does Biggs die? Um. Yes. <laughs> but it's okay because so does Wedge oh but Wedge doesn't die that's what one of the things that makes him cool he's the only like rebel that wasn't like Luke or Leia or Han to like survive all all, all three movies I know and, and both attacks on the Death Star like that's why Wedge and Tilly's is awesome I agree you, you got your reference wrong Final Fantasy what are you doing? Dancing. I was just looking around at this train car. <laughs> you like glitching. You don't like that? Let's talk to Barrett. Alright. Let's Phil. talk to Barrett. Let's talk to Phil. Dr. Phil. Shut up. Sit down. Not you, Josh. That guy who came in and yelled at me for making a scene. <laughs> <laughs> So we have reason to believe you were spazzing on our train? <laughs> <laughs> just came to check that you weren't having a seizure. Yeah, pretty much. You're scaring the children. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so me and Jesse are looking at a Midgar model. Look at those polygons. Yeah, man. Polygons. Like the Matrix. 